also into personal development and you have a growth mindset chances are you have a lot of interests and a lot of ideas but I feel like to have a lot of interests is a very good thing but it's also more often than not difficult to focus on a specific thing because you have too many ideas and too many interests and for that I want to create myself an environment in which it becomes easy to focus I want to create systems that allow me to focus very easily, to make it a habit to come quickly into focus and into the flow state. So I want to develop some things for myself and in this video I want to show the prototyping with the 3D printer and then test the prototypes and see whether or not I came up with a good idea, whether or not it helps me to focus and to stay in focus and to make it really easy to follow those habits and to create this whole atmosphere, this whole environment to come very quickly into focus and to maintain your habits very easily because you are what you repeatedly do and therefore it should be easy for you to repeatedly do the right things and don't do the wrong stuff, you know, like getting rid of bad habits and implementing good new habits but at the same time it shouldn't be a struggle so you should create yourself an environment in which it becomes easy to make one step at a time in the right direction so that eventually you will achieve your goals. So I want to create myself that environment in which I can just get every day a step closer to my goal and to have focus, to have a very clear focus what I'm going to do and to which things I'm going to say no to because I already know what I'm going to do. So yeah, here we go. Okay friends, so we have ourselves made the first prototype which is quite nice and it seems to fit, it's literally the first try. Nice, I like it, yeah, but maybe this is a bit too steep, maybe it shouldn't be in this angle but more in this angle because when it's like this it's I would prefer it to be a bit more angled but I like how you can just grab the cards you can slide them out you can look at the cards choose your card and then just place your card or just just take a pen, wrote something down and then I think it is quite a good first prototype, definitely a good first prototype because everything seems to fit. There are these lines and I'm not sure whether I like them or not. These lines are because I placed this um, surface at an angle so that you know, this isn't like parallel but in a slight angle but um, I can get rid of those lines when I'm not printing in this orientation but in this orientation so the printer can just smoothly follow that line but then I have these kind of structure on um, these edges and then I have to support this overhang but um, somehow I think they look kind of interesting because it's like everything very symmetrical and this surface then is like a bit more interesting okay but I think for the next prototype 
I have to yeah I have to adjust this angle definitely but I'm very satisfied with the first prototype that's what I like about 3d printing you just can have an idea you can design it you can print it and then you have like an idea you previously only had in your head you can touch in the real world you have like physical a real physical product and with all the molding stuff you even can make like high quality physical products like concrete products just with 3d prints i i think it's just insane okay so in the meantime i printed some more prototypes and this one right here was my v1 prototype and it was fairly simple the design was fairly boxed and it was functional but i didn't enjoy the look of it and the angle was a bit too steep so when you have it in a configuration like this just in front of you it wasn't that enjoyable to look at all your to do's because of the viewing angle so i decided to make another prototype and i also thought of maybe i don't need three cards or five seven ten whatever amount of cards maybe i just need one card because it helps the overall simplicity and it forces you to focus on your main goals because when you have three cards five cards seven cards whatever amount of cards you can write a lot of stuff down and then you just have a pretty to-do list but i wanted to be aesthetic and functional and to be functional i want this thing to force me to focus on the most important task so i thought why not make it smaller and simpler and this was v2 and somehow i messed up i mean i can force it in but yeah it's just it's just not um, that easy to use so i redone it and i also really really like the design because it is angled from all the sides and then it's not just a square block it's i don't know i think it just looks very good it, like, it is aesthetic in my opinion it feels like this is the right size it's for example for the small desk behind me it's just the right size because this is useful when you want to have more cards but it's big it's maybe good if you want to write a lot of things down if you don't want to necessarily focus on only three things and if you have a bigger desk and the angle is in a more comfortable viewing angle so this is the smaller part and then i designed again a bigger one just to to see how this format will look with all the angles and i think it turned out also really well but for me for now i will start with this one because i want to focus and it forces me to focus because i just have so much space on one card and it's a smaller product so i can experiment with mold making and pouring concrete and um, the concrete mixtures i just can experiment with a more simple product more easily than let's say with this product just to start with so that's not to say that i won't make this product further down the road but i will start with this product and yeah i'm very happy how this turned out i get this feeling like a bag of bricks try again 